Hi everyone, my name is Arpita and I am a researcher, artist, and filmmaker living in Los Angeles, California. So I wanted to answer the question, what is my favorite thing to do? And for me, my favorite thing is painting. So today I'm going to walk through what got me into painting, uh, what my process is like, and why I do it and then why I think that you should also give it a try. So let's get started. I got started with painting about three years ago and this happened when I had actually um, bought some gift certificates um, for a co-worker of mine together to go to a painting class and before that I had been painting in high school um, and I got a seven on my IB art exam, whatever that means to anyone. Um, but I went with her and, and it was really a wonderful experience to have the joy of painting alongside her for that class. Um, and, um, and I felt like I learned a lot. And when I came home and I hung the painting on my wall um, after it had been completed, I would look at it every day and it would fill me with so much joy that I had created something so beautiful. And it reminded me of the joy that I used to get um, back in my younger days when I would take the time to work on these projects for class. So that really made me um, think about how special painting really was for me. and. So now what I love doing is on weeknights and on weekends, I will um, spend some time looking at YouTube videos or looking at reference images that I really enjoy and then actually trying to either replicate them or learning the techniques from a YouTube video and then being able to apply them to a painting. Why do I love painting? So, I love painting because it's the one time of the day when I come home from work where I get to just be myself and let go of all of the emotions that are happening throughout the day and fill myself with joy and create something beautiful that I feel really proud of. So why do I think that you should get started painting and give this a shot? So there are three main reasons why I think that you should try painting and I'm gonna lay them out for you now. So the first is that art helps you imagine a more hopeful future. So Gerja Kemal is an associate professor at Drexel University and a researcher in art therapy. She leads art sessions with members of the military suffering from traumatic brain injury and caregivers of cancer patients. She wrote a recent piece for the Journal of American Art Therapy Association, theorizing that art making helps us navigate problems that might arise in the future. She argues that the act of imagination is actually an act of survival. It is preparing us to imagine possibilities and hopefully survive through possibilities. So over the last year, I was, um, I was teaching art classes to friends during the middle of the pandemic. I could see that students of mine would feel more hopeful and creative when they spent their evenings in a community with others creating something. The process of creation opens up our imaginations to new ideas and approaches to the world. The second reason I think that you should try painting or art is because it makes you happier. So Kamal and her team of researchers actually discovered that making art may benefit people dealing with addictive behaviors, eating disorders, and mood disorders. They measured blood flow to the brain's rewards and the medial prefrontal cortex in 26 participants as they completed three art activities, coloring in a mandala, doodling, and drawing freely on a blank piece of paper. They found an increase in blood flow to this part of the brain when the participants were making art. 
The research suggests that art may activate reward pathways in the brain that can benefit them. I personally experienced this in my own life. I started painting during a period where I was struggling with how to manage life expectations and disappointments. And art allowed me to feel happier and better manage those challenges. The third reason that I think that you should try art is that no matter your skill level, creating art makes you less anxious about life. A 2016 research paper found that 45 minutes of creating art in a studio significantly lowered stress levels. The paper also showed that there were no differences in health outcomes between people who identify as an experienced artist and people who don't. So that means that no matter your skill level, you'll be able to feel all the good things that come with making art. And a struggle that I hear from many people I try to convince to take up art is that fear and anxiety around not being good at it. One of the greatest things about this article is that it reinforces that you don't have to be greatly skilled at art in order to enjoy it and reduce your stress. So those are the three main reasons I think that you should try art. Now, some recommendations I have for you if you actually want to give it a shot are to start by making paintings for friends, family members, coworkers within your office setting um, and taking on the challenge of creating something that they enjoy or that is meaningful to them. I did this when I started off and it helped me really better connect with the people around me and see um, and be able to have greater empathy and understanding for them. Thank you for letting me try to convince you to try painting or art. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.